Yo, what's up, guys? Here to do a quick review on Blade Leopard Shadow BWM09 by our boys, Transart. Highly anticipated figure. The box art is already so clean. I love, I love the way that looks. It's so freaking gnarly. Ah, uh, yes, in all his glory, Mr. TM2 Cheetor, aka Blade Leopard Shadow. This is BWM09. Again, by Transart. Um, so, first of all, I wanted to go over the accessories. Uh, accessories comes... Basically, he comes with three, if you will. If you want to count a set of stickers um, as an accessory. Whatever. Uh, so, his first accessory, and I think it is phenomenally painted. Um, his tail. Super screen accurate to the show. I know it has this little hook here. Oh my god. Just look at how sick this is. And I love the attention to detail that Transart is giving us now. It, it seems like... Um, they're going harder, dude. They're going harder. And look at that black wash. Get a wash on what looks like to be the fur. And it has a bendy wire, too. Yeah, I kind of think it stops bending around. Maybe right there. Uh, so, yeah, you get, a, you get a tail. A viciously nice painted tail with a bendy wire. And this thing next to our boy is, like, it, he's damn near the same height as his own tail. I think it's a little bit bigger. But, yeah, that's that's one accessory. And then following up his uh, second accessory, if you will, I have it attached to his back right here. And yep, you guessed it. It's his gun. So this port's in. Fairly simple. Uh, and it stays intact as well. It comes with a nice gimmick. Um, the nice, you know, missile's painted beautifully too. If you want to take a look at the missile, that is awesome right there. It comes with one missile. Uh, you don't need another one. And that's the only thing that kind of sucks. Because if you tend to lose it, uh, if you launch it and it goes into the fridge, RIP your missile. So uh, I wanted to talk about this gun. This paint is just beautiful, dude. And I feel so bad not wearing gloves. But um, the paint apps on this is, is fantastic. I love that chromey transmetal red that they gave us. It's just phenomenal, dude. It's absolutely screen accurate. And then to pop it back in, you just find that little sweet spot and it's in. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do it, to be honest. It, it usually goes in. See, you can just grab it really spontaneous. Like, boy. So, and you'll hear a click there and then just launch it. And of course, to port it back in, um, you grab, where is it? Right here face the gun up what i do is i just roll it over inside and there's seams right there there's a nice little seam now i will be cautious on this because eventually i feel like this might get a weird paint rub uh so just be wary of that and yeah just put it in and you don't have any black arachnia transmetal two <laughs> issues there um and look how beautiful he stands man this is phenomenal I, I love this figure so much i can't get enough of it uh, let's uh let's touch base on some articulation here um let's start out from the top uh his head can move left right obviously um you can't 360 his head unfortunately uh because of his uh hunchback of notre dame back here when you do try to turn it here's uh one of the issues i run into you're, you're only limited to a certain amount of range which kind of sucks because um I, I wish they they were to just extend the neck up a little bit and then you'd be able to get more of a looking down pose with his mouth open unfortunately that's as far as you can uh you can bust his mouth open. Pause. He's very limited to looking up as well. Um, but if you look up, you get more of a more of a growling, snarling. He looks very feral and uh, very screen accurate, dude. I love that. Uh, another issue here that I felt like I wanted to address was the eyes. Uh, obviously, you can see a glare bouncing off because I have a light. They did not include... Well, they did. You know what? They did. They did hook us up. And I forgot to mention the third accessory was this right here. It was his eyes. I guess, you know, it's nice, it's nice to an extent, but I don't know, I, I I just wish that they gave us painted eyes, you know, a little more show accurate painted eyes, but that's, that's just, you know, I don't know, that's something that you can customize on your own time. I already tried to uh, customize it earlier, but I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait so I can uh, take apart this head completely and give his eyes the proper, um, the proper look. So yeah, moving on on articulation points, moving on, um, you can get up and down motion right here, there's no butterfly. There's a ball joint right on his shoulder, on both shoulders. There's no butterfly joint. If you want to call that a butterfly, that is not a butterfly. Um, but you do have a lot of range, and I guess this ball joint acts like a butterfly, if you will. You get a 90 degree bend at the elbow, not too much articulation there, but you do get a wrist swivel. Um, and then you also get a ball joint right there at the, at the wrist. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. You do have lots of articulation on these fingers. You get three points of articulation, one, two, and then three right here. Uh, on his um, on his thumb, they all have ball joints, so that's phenomenal. I love that. And then moving on down to the waist, you get a rotation at the waist right there, and you get a gnarly gnarly ab crunch, just like that. Um, you do get this gap right here, 
but it's not that bad honestly it's not bad but i'd rather have it than a knot you get a gnarly range of ab crunch but you get limited range on his head i wish the head can pop up so then you can get more of a crouching and looking up pose but uh it's okay i, I can live with that uh moving on down to his legs you get a ball joint right here again right at the leg you get a cut right here on the thigh that's awesome i love that and it goes 360 you know that's beautiful i love this and then you get a bend at the knee a little 90 that's not bad this is for his beast mode but i mean you can use that to an advantage and i, I really wouldn't because it wouldn't look natural so moving on you get a up and down right here on his ankle you get a nice little pivot this doesn't do anything this doesn't move it's just basically uh, a base for um the figure itself just to kind of hold him up and then uh the articulation on each toe i love that it's a little limited but they do rotate i was rotating one earlier see like that so yeah that is awesome and that, i think that's about it for his articulation also another cool little feature that he does have oh, right here damn it it's uh the where what used to be the insignia and it's just like a metallic -y green it's nice I, I like it i wish it was a little bit more marbly or more translucent you know there was more like of a marble this is this is good this works this works i'm, I'm just kind of complaining now at this point it works you know it works and Honestly, this figure is awesome. I love the attention to detail that Transart has been giving us lately. And I, I zoomed in a little more just so you guys can take a look at this wash that they gave us right here on Cheetor. Just look at that. Right along the chrome, you get this black wash. And you can't really see what else I'm looking at, but you kind of get like this like weathering effect. I don't know if you can kind of see that right there reflecting. But you get a weathering effect in the chrome and it is just beautiful, dude. Like the fact that TA went, went out of their way and gave us this. So you can kind of see it right there on the waist right here. It just shows you that they are not limited to just painting plastic. They can get busy with detail, and this proves it. Man, this figure is so sick. So yeah, dude, honestly, this figure is awesome. Again, my only gripes are the head articulation, and I think that's about it, honestly. But yeah, look at this figure, man. He's a hunk of beauty. Also, to uh, port in his weapon right here, his little missile launcher, there's a port right there. On either hand, takes it um and you get them on both sides right here so left and right and uh yeah you just want to kind of shimmy it in here carefully because uh you can cause breakage so just be very careful but just wrap it around the thumb right there and just port it in like so and he has really lanky fingers so you want to just do that that works bend right there super sick i love this and, uh, yeah, you get Cheetor right here in all his little fucking sick-ass glory, dude. Look at that. Oh, my God, he's beautiful. Another thing, too, I wanted to mention. I know people are curious. So, um, he is not loose at all. Honestly, he's very, very tight to my expectation. There's no ratchets. There's no ratchets anywhere. Um, but given that there's no ratchets, he's very, very tight. He doesn't have any loose legs. And they don't feel overwhelmingly tight to where, you know, they might snap. They're on point. You know, he gets this nice little, look at that. Oh, jeez, he's so sick. Um, and it's both legs too. So you can get like a feral jumping pose right here um, of him just jumping out of a bush and just raining terror on whoever it may be. Um, so yeah, I love the fact that, and you can hold this pose too. Um, the only thing that I found that was <clears throat> somewhat loose was his ankle right here, this little pivot on his toe. You know, just straighten him out to the right pose, the correct pose that you want him to, and he will hold. This guy has no problem holding. Um, again, little to no issues. I think the only gripe that I have, honestly, is that head limitation. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't really engineer that part correctly to where you can limit his head to go up a little more. All they had to do really was just give you an extension to just pop up and just lean him back and lean it forward. And he would have been a little more sicker, to be honest. And uh, it, it just sucks that uh, it had to do with his head. But other than that, though, I, I really can't complain, man. This this figure is beautiful. If you haven't gotten it, honestly, just just snag it. Just snag it. It's it's definitely worth it. Uh, it's a step up from uh, TM2 Black Arachnia for sure. I think I might I might grab another one just to you know battle damage it a little more. Uh, but honestly, this is this is really really sick. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, transform this guy into his beast mode. Give me one second. So I was gonna transform him on camera, but I you know I figured you can just YouTube it. There's gonna be videos of it anyway, so you could just look it up later. But dude, look at how sick this transformation is. His beast mode is phenomenal. He oh just. Just admire him for a sec there. He's so sick. I love it. Absolutely love it. Shout out Transart for doing this correctly. Honestly, um, his range is basically the same. I mean, you kind of saw his articulation. I would say this, though. Be very careful when you do snap in um, these, these little tabs here. There's two tabs right here. Just be very careful that you apply pressure 
to you force it towards the inside you want to force it too hard but you push more towards the inside and they should tab in smoothly um it, it seems like his front is a little weak uh like his hands they're like i said they're a little more weak they're not really meant to hold up you know this whole beautiful sheet over here but nevertheless it's it's doing what it's supposed to do honestly that's exactly how i think i'm gonna have him uh, in his uh in his beast mode ah that's so awesome i can't wait for transmetal to dinobot and then just have this guy next to him and you know recreate a nice scene for you guys yeah dude definitely worth purchase if you haven't you should go ahead and grab them from show z store uh, they'll hook you up right away uh, you accumulate points and eventually end up getting something discounted um and that's just the way they work man uh also if you guys want to help out my channel please type in the bwk code right there in that spot awesome man thank you guys i appreciate it and i hope you enjoyed this little review but that's it man that's gonna do it for now um if you guys have any more questions please let me know in the comments and uh yeah i'll talk to you guys later peace